BBC News. Tens of thousands of people have protested in the Serbian capital Belgrade after two mass shootings in the country last week. Thousands more rallied in the northern city of Novi Sad. 17 people were killed in the two attacks. Sudan's former foreign minister, Mariam al-Sadiq al-Mahdi, has told the BBC that she believes the deep mistrust between the country's rival generals is preventing a genuine ceasefire. She said officials loyal to the deposed President Omar al-Bashir were trying to ensure the army's fight against the paramilitary rapid support forces continued. London's Metropolitan Police Force has expressed regret that six anti-monarchy protesters were arrested ahead of the coronation of King Charles. The force said no charges would be brought against the six, all members of the Republic campaign group. The Canadian province of Alberta has called for help from the federal government as nearly a 100 wildfires continue to burn across the area. Alberta's Premier, Daniel Smith, formally asked Prime Minister Justin Trudeau for assistance in a phone call. A court in New York has heard the closing arguments in a civil trial in which the former US President, Donald Trump, is accused of raping and later defaming a writer, E. Jean Carroll. Mr Trump hasn't attended the trial and has consistently denied the allegations. Gunmen have attacked a church in Nigeria's Kaduna state, kidnapping at least 25 members of the congregation. Over the last two years, there have been frequent mass kidnappings by criminal gangs. The soprano Grace Bunbury, who was one of the first African-Americans to become a star of international opera, has died. She was 86.